All right, this is how we do method number one. So we have 7 tenths, that's the larger fraction. So we're going to find multiples of 10, and we are going to be thinking of the multiple that they have in common. So we're going to list them, 7 tenths. Now if I go to 20th, I multiplied by 2, so I'll multiply 7 by 2, 14, 6 doesn't go into 20 evenly, so let's go to 30. 10 times 3 equals 30, so multiply 7 times 3, 21. Oh, I know that 6 goes into 30, so I'm going to stop there. Now we're going to change the fractions. 7 tenths equals 21 thirtieths, and 1 sixth equals how many thirtieths? So what did I multiply to get 30? 5. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Now I have 5 thirtieths. Now we can subtract 21 thirtieths minus 5 thirtieths equals... 16 thirtieths. Now we should see that that is not in lowest terms, so we are going to divide both by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So the answer is 8 fifteenths. The second method is you're going to find the least common multiple. So we are going to start with the 10, 10, 20, 30, and I should stop there because I know 6 goes into 30, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So 7 tenths equal how many thirtieths? I multiply by 3, multiply by 3, and 1 sixth equals how many thirtieths? Since I listed them right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I multiplied by 5. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. There we go. Now, same thing, 21 thirtieths minus 5 thirtieths equals 16 thirtieths. If we reduce it, 8 fifteenths. We get the same answer. And the third method, just multiply the denominators, so 10 times 6 is 60, so 7 tenths equals how many sixtieths? Multiplied by 6, because the answer's right there, times 6. Now we have 42 sixtieths. 1 six equals how many sixtieths? The other answer is right here. I multiplied by 10, so I'll multiply the top times 10. Now we have 42 sixtieths minus 10 sixtieths. 32 sixtieths. Now I'm going to show you how to reduce that. 32 sixtieths. Think of a number that goes into both evenly. You could just divide by 2, although you're going to have to do it several times. 16 thirtieths. Divide by 2 again. 8 fifteenths. We got the same answer. Now notice if you would have realized the largest common factor, you could have divided it right away by 4 and got 8 fifteenths. All right, we're going to subtract 1 sixth from 7 eighths. Over here, what they did is they found the equivalent fractions. So they took the bigger fraction, bigger denominator, and they found equivalent fractions. So 7 eighths is the same as how many sixteenths? Well, I multiplied by 2, so multiply by 2. 14 sixteenths. 6 doesn't go into 16, so I'm going to have to continue on. Now, 8 times 3 equals 24, and 7 times 3 equals 21. You should know that, oh, that's going to be a common multiple. So now we have 21 24ths. Now we need to change 
the sixth down here. So one sixth equals how many twelfths? Multiply by two, multiply by two. I guess let's not even go there. Let's just jump to the 24th. Six, one, ha, sorry guys. I've already done this over a couple times, so I'm not gonna stop again. Let's try that again. One sixth equals how many 24ths? What did I multiply by? Four, so one times four is four. So 21 24 now we can subtract because the denominators are the same. And you are going to get 17 24 Can you reduce 17 24 Nope, 17 is a prime number. There's no number that goes into both 17 and 24. All right, subtract 1 10th from 5 6 Again, they took... They were looking for the common multiple of 6 and 10, and they found that 30 was the common multiple. So what did I multiply to get 30? 5. So what do I need to multiply by 5? So 25 thirtieths. Now how did I get 1 tenth to thirtieths? I multiplied by 3. So you have 3 thirtieths. Now 25 30, thirtieths minus 3 thirtieths. It's going to give you 22 thirtieths. And notice they reduced it. They divided by 2. So divide the top by 2. 11. 11 fifteenths. For the final one, 5 sixths minus 1 and 7 tenths. So we found that the common multiple was 30. How did I get 30? I multiplied by 3. Multiply 7 by 3 is 21. 5, 6. How did I get 30? I multiplied by 5. Multiply the top by 5. 25. Okay, so now this poses a little bit of an issue because 21 thirtieths minus 25 thirtieths can I take, let me make that more clear, can I take 25 away from 21? No, what am I going to do? Well, I see that I have a hole over here. And a hole in thirtieths is what? Yes, 30 thirtieths. So I'm going to add that to the 21. So 21 plus 30 that actually equals 51 thirtieths. Now I can take away 25 thirtieths, and I'm going to get 26 thirtieths. And again, they reduced it. Divide by 2, so divide 26 by 2, 13. 13 fifteenths. It gets a little tricky, but if you have that whole number, remember you can make that into a fraction. Now in your tasks section, write page 59, put today's date. I will be checking this when you come in for English, and I want you to put 8, A, B, and C, and find the answers. I wonder if you're going to have to change that to a the whole number to a fraction and add that to it. I think you're going to. Good luck. All right, hopefully you've already stopped and done these in your notebook. You should have, I'm going to change this to 30ths because I know that that's the lowest common multiple. So 5, 6 equals how many 30ths? 25 thirtieths and 3 tenths equal how many thirtieths? Multiply by 3, 9 thirtieths. So 25 now thirtieths minus 9 thirtieths equals 16 thirtieths. Can I reduce that? Yes, divide both by 2. 8 fifteenths. 
Now b, 1 and 2 thirds minus 11 twelfths. Let's find a common denominator. I know that 3 goes into 12 evenly. So let's do 1 and 2 thirds equals how many twelfths? What did I multiply by 4? Multiply the 2 times 4, 8. 8 twelfths. Oops, I cannot subtract 11 from 8. So I am going to have to take this whole number. Now if it's in twelfths, how many twelfths is a whole? 12 twelfths. So we're actually adding 12 plus 8. We get 20 twelfths. Now we're going to subtract it from 11 twelfths. And you are going to get 9 twelfths. And you should see that you can divide both by 3. It's going to be 3 fourths is your final answer. All right, let me erase some of this stuff. So I have room for my final one. All right, 1 and 1 tenth minus 5 sixths. I know again that 30 is going to be my common denominator. So 1 and 1 tenth equals how many thirtieths? I multiplied by 3, multiply by 3. And 5, 6 equals how many thirtieths? Multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, 25. See, I can't take 25 away from 3, but luckily I have a whole number. How many thirtieths is going to be a whole? 30 thirtieths. So I'm going to add 30 thirtieths plus 3 thirtieths equals 33 thirtieths. Now I can subtract 25 thirtieths, which is going to equal 8 thirtieths. And both are even numbers, so I can divide both by 2. Is that the biggest number? Yes. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 30 divided by 2 is 15. My final answer, 4 fifteenths. Hopefully you did well on that, and your homework, like I said, is going to be exercise four.